The Honourable Member for Lactabonny. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise today to commemorate the month of September as the province's first official Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Madam Speaker, approximately 60 children in Manitoba and more than 1,400 children across, across Canada are diagnosed with cancer each and every year. Last year, I introduced Bill 209 to officially recognize September as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and this September, it was marked for the first time. Madam Speaker, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month has demonstrated why public education and awareness matter so much in the battle against cancer. A number of foundations held fundraising and awareness events, such as the Canadian Cancer Society's Daffodil Gala, Cancer Care Manitoba's Dragon Boat Festival, and the annual Terry Fox Run, just to name a few. Madam Speaker, I had the pleasure of co-chairing Relay for Life back in June, and this past weekend marked the 19th annual CIBC Run for the Cure. I would like to commend every Manitoban who has supported these events by volunteering, participating, and donating. Madam Speaker, I would specifically like to recognize the tenacity of 11-year-old Abigail Stewart. As a childhood cancer survivor herself, she works to raise awareness through her GOLD initiative. Abigail partnered with local car dealerships and other businesses to put thousands of special gold balloons on display and collect donations for Abby's Balloons, a community initiative through the Canadian Cancer Society. With the help of the member for Radisson, Abigail was able to see her gold initiative become a reality. Abigail is a shining example of the motivation that Childhood Cancer Awareness Month can inspire in Manitobans. She reminds us that we all have a role to play in fighting for a cure. Thank you, Madam Speaker.